the motivations for street performing more as, as a contact juggler is because the more I street perform, the better my isolations get. We both had been juggling, I mean, for quite a few years before we started performing it on the street. I mean, for me, it was maybe four or five years before I even thought that maybe I would show it to other people. With both of us being artists and performers and having a fluctuating income and things like that, it just created different struggles. So it was the juggling originally that kind of brought us together. He brought me to a juggling festival and I literally was riding a unicycle and like he smiled and I like fell flat on my face in front of him. <laughs> like, fully like fell for him in that moment where I was like, wow. To have someone support you and tell you how your show looked and how your crowd reacted. Your street performance can be really lonely, you know? Especially if you're working by yourself. Sometimes it's great and you feel like you're king of the world and other times you just feel like just a guy asking for money on the street. And so it can be quite isolating. So certainly it was nice to have someone to share that experience with. For the first year, we couldn't juggle together. Right? Yeah, because we had learned independently. I mean, so much of the learning process is a very kind of intimate thing. And so to share that with someone else was really difficult in the beginning. There's so much insecurity around just what you're doing and if it's good. And, and to have someone that you really care about evaluating your work and, and kind of looking at it in practice With a critical we, eye. was weird. You want to only present the best of what you can do. I was on a bus one day and I found this pitch, which was the Chinatown Night Market, which is basically the pitch that we shared for about three mm. years. He would do half hour set and then I would do a half hour set. Yeah, it worked really well because uh, with this kind of juggling, there's a kind of limit to how much you can perform and especially not running it as a circle show, but just running it as a walk by thing to have someone to rotate with so you're not giving up your pitch to other performers who are showing up or anything like that, it, it was a good system. When it worked. When it worked, yeah. It's a very exposed way of working and it could have led to, to bigger arguments and, and maybe bigger fights, but no, for the most part it was good just to have someone yeah. to share that with. It we, didn't really... We kept our shows separate yeah. and that was because of massive fights. We didn't ever actually manage to put together a show for that reason. Oh, we did put one together. Yeah. And then we fought so bad that we never played it again. <laughs> we won an award for it. It we was a did. good show. Yeah, it was a good show. <laughs> yeah. We got, yeah. It was a performance We won a contest, yeah. And it was good on one hand to share the pitch with someone, but on the other hand, it took a little bit of the control away from me in terms of when I do my show and how I do my show. I would get angry if he would take up a lot of my time because then it was a lack of money and, and that kind of issue. In street performing, you're kind of, it depends on traffic flow and things like that, and sometimes it just wouldn't be the right time, there wouldn't be enough people to, to really validate going out there and doing it, and so you would want to wait 20 minutes to, for, for the crowds to pick up. I've always wanted to open up like a studio, a juggling studio, artist studio. Yeah, me too. At the time, <laughs> we were planning on kind of doing that together. Presumably we will just follow the same path and end up doing the same things. Just. Separately. Separately. <laughs>